Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Tom Zhu. Uh, I'm now responsible for global production at Sales and Delivery Service. I joined the company back in 2014, um, and um, I've been running the company's business in Greater China and APAC. Um, today, I'm representing all the gigafactories and talk about how we can make more cars and faster. So right now, um, we have four uh, vehicle factories on three continents that serve our markets. Um, the total number of manufacturing employees is over 65,000. This is also including our amazing team in Reno. Uh, they are making powertrains, um, battery packs, and drive unit for our vehicle factories. Um, the total installed capacity in all these vehicle factories is about 2 million cars a year. That said, we're always looking for opportunity to grow more capacity from the existing footprint. So you expect this number will grow over time. Um, to build more factories um, is the start to build more cars, and we're certainly the expert of it. Um, this is a before and after image um, showing you the progress we made back in 2019 when we built a gig factory in, in Shanghai. Um, so in nine and a half months' time, um, we uh, built um, a greenfield project uh, to establish the vehicle factory. And the three months later, we started to deliver our first customer vehicle. Um, people always ask me, you know, how Tesla can build a factory that fast. Really, um, we learned from um, our Fremont factory a lot. We talked to the survivor from the production hell and um, tried to avoid all the mistakes we made. Um, and um, we decided to design a straight line with the minimum number of up and downs and turns for easier manufacturing ability and easier construction. We also challenged all the assumptions that people ever know to build a vehicle factory. Um, and we delete and simplified um, all the redundancies and the buffers. Um, that's helped us to save a lot of time. Um, also, we have a, a very strong in-house uh, construction team um, in Tesla. Um, if there um, ever a job cannot be done by others better, and we bring this in-house. So we have this in-house construction team um, have a full control over all the activities on site from um, design engineering to construction, uh, site management. Um, so this team not, uh, didn't just build Giga Shanghai. They also built uh, Giga Berlin, Giga Texas, and uh, Giga Nevada. Um, and um, they're really the hero behind the scenes. Um, like um, Lars shared earlier, um, going forward with the new uh, platform, uh, the more modular design and densif densified um, gigafactory will be able to um, make more cars from even uh, reduce the footprint. That also means we can build more factories at the same time. Um, with the joint effort of all um, manufacturing teams around the globe, I'm happy to share early this morning, we hit the 4 million mark for total Tesla ever built. <laughs> and the, uh, the 4 million vehicle actually built in this factory. Um, when you took a tour on our shop floor, you probably walked past it. <laughs> All right. So it took <coughs> us 12 years to build the first million vehicle. Um, and um, about um, 18 months um, to the uh, build the second million. The third million took us 11 months. And just shortly, uh, less than seven months, we built the four million cars. So we're getting better and faster. Exponential growth. Really kudos to the team. So um, what it takes to ramp a gigafactory? Well, if you have 600 robots, 10,000 trained employees, or 5,000 human and 5,000 um, optimists, and hundreds of processes, you can do it. Sounds simple, but it's extremely hard. So there's two um, key metrics that we predominantly focus on. It is an um, overall equipment effectiveness and the cycle time. Um, in Tesla, um, we're setting the passing grade for our vehicle factories um, with 90% OEE and 45 second cycle time. What that means, um, the OEE really evaluates um, the equipment uptime, the um, machine performance, and the quality. Simply put, um, this is the um, actual um, production time on a good quality product versus the planned productive time. Uh, the higher, the better. Um, the 45 second cycle time. That means you know it, you expect every 45 seconds there's a car running off the final assembly line uh, in the factory. Um, and the faster we ramp, um, the faster we can get the economy of scale. Um, if you look at um, the chart on the right, uh, on the left, um, Shanghai. Um, be able to significantly drop our labor hours per car um, during the ramp. 
um, the little dip there is that happened in the last um, Q2 2022 um, because of the, the COVID shutdown. Um, and on the right is the Fremont um, Model Y shop. Even this is a 60-year-old facility, the team there still be able to optimize the material flow, eliminate all the um, single point of failure, and drive higher outputs, um, hence um, reduce the labor hours. Um, and actually, this factory keep setting a new record. Um, yesterday, they just had a new factory daily record. Congrats, Fremont team. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, how can we um, reduce the cycle time, um, keep improving efficiency? We follow the philosophy um, Elon shared about the building rocket, which is questioning, basically find the right problem to solve, and we start with delete, simplify, then we try to accelerate, pressurize the line, and find the, um, if the, the solution actually work, and at last, we think about the automation. Um, I, there's one example in um, Gigafactory Shanghai um, in the paint shop. We find that there's an um, um, overlap um, baking range between uh, the um, PVC sealer um, and the top coat. Uh, it was done by two different ovens, and we decided to combine the two processes. Um, eventually, that helped us, um, didn't just help us to reduce the cycle time, but also save the 9% of energy consumption and 9% of the um, CO2 emission. Um, also, we um, commonized the SNX design um, in Fremont. Um, right now, we have a common uh, body and common headlamp. Um, we eliminate, uh, eliminated about 40 parts and reduced about 10% of the cycle time. So um, all these improvements um, really help us um, to uh, um, get to um, a faster ramp um, trajectory. And we didn't just learn from these high volume existing factories, we also learned from the new factories. Um, re most recently, um, our Gig Berlin uh, factory team um, implemented a 5G private network on the shop floor, helped us to um, um, uh, overcome about 90% of the over cycle um, issues for a particular um, process um, in, in GA shop. We're gonna soon implement this globally. Um, so, um, Right now, we have an integrated um, global organization from, um, from production all the way um, to sales and delivery service. Uh, this will help us to strengthen the feedback loop um, between manufacturing and the service. We obviously uh, want to bring a delight for customer uh, ownership experience um, to our um, uh, car owners. Um, and um, um, with this direct feedback loop, we um, be able to turn customer escalations and the feedback into a quick actions and improvement on the shop floor immediately. Um, with that effort, in the past six months, we'll be able to reduce the time in service um, and um, early ownership service, um, also service appointment wait time significantly. So, um, four factories, not enough. If we want to um, hit the 20 million car um, a year target, uh, we're going to keep building new factories, um, new lines, um, and that will come up, uh, come up with uh, new product as well. Um, and with um, all gigafactories now um, in one organization, we'll be able to replicate um, unified ideas across factories. Um, also, we will help um, the new factories um, rep faster um, and also um, produce a better quality at a lower cost. 